In this video, I want to discuss shortly why it is important to understand the data types of data frame columns. And here I have an example for you, which has an, a surprising result. So we have the CSV file with country data, such as the capital, the population area, yeah, and the country name. And now we want to find the country with the biggest population. So first of all, we read the data from the CSV file into a data frame. Then we select the column population and we call the max method on this column, which is a series in terms of data types. And you might expect to get um, a big country, I think China. Yeah, that's the hugest number. But when we run this code, we get Germany. And mathematically speaking, this is wrong. Because obviously here we have much larger numbers than 83 million. But what is happening here? It's about data types, remember. And how can we find out the data types of our columns? We can use data frame and then the attribute D types. And you see we have objects here. These are strings and that does explain the result. Look at it again. Result is 83 million and eight is when we speak about strings, it's larger than one or three, one. We only consider the first number in the string. And then you can understand why the output is 83 million because eight considered as string is the largest one. So this is a surprising output, but it's clear when you understand that here we are working with strings. So it's important to check your data frames and see the column data types. Remember data frame dot D types. Here you can see them. 